Next up is an innovation of a favorite food. Sharks, my name is Michelle Jimenez, and this is my husband, Andrea Michato. And we're here from New York City. We are seeking a $125,000 investment for 5% of our company. Whoa! Sharks, who doesn't love pizza? As we all know, there are pizza lovers all over the world. Pizza is delicious, but when you think of frozen pizza, you don't think of it as an appetizer or a high quality gourmet snack. And let's be honest, it can be hard to eat those delicious slices on the go. Plus, the frozen pizza snacks category has gone a bit stale. But that is until now. Sharks, Sharks meet, meet the, the pizza, pizza cupcake! cupcake. Mamma mia! <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> Oh, yeah. One, two, one. Dip. Oh, oh no. no. Don't knock that oh, no. oh, oh, Pizza guy. Okay. That's it. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> the pizza cupcake is the next level of pizza that belongs anywhere and everywhere. A fine gourmet snack that's easy to serve and made with high quality ingredients. Plus, our trade secret dough recipe delivers a fluffy texture that's unlike any pizza you've ever had. And because of its cupcake shape and size, the pizza cupcake is perfect for any occasion and can be enjoyed in even more ways and places than your traditional slice. So, Sharks, who's ready to take a bite of the, the pizza, pizza cupcake? cupcake. Hey. Stop talking, let's eat! Yes, <laughs> please dig in. Which one should we try? So those are our two best sellers, the margarita and the pepperoni. So the margarita is the vegetarian pepperoni. As you know, it's one of the wow. Americans' favorites. And the sauce is your sauce? The sauce is our sauce. It's the marinara sauce that we made just before we this came in. This is delicious. It's really good. It's really good. Thank you. Thank I hate you, because I want to eat these. <laughs> so, oh. It's not your regular pizza dough. It's a, it's a hybrid Why that we created. Why is it so good? So it's like fluffy. a flaky pastry. There's got to be a lot of butter in this exactly. thing. Exactly. <laughs> no, there is no butter. What? Only olive oil. It's a hybrid between a brioche and a sourdough. So you get the fluffiness of the brioche, and then you get the oh crunchy and Andrea, how old is this? Like, it, it tastes like you made it this morning. That's a frozen product. Yeah, wow. we shipped these yeah. From, from New York City. Yeah. The marinara sauce is our favorite. Really good. For Kevin to be silent oh. and just be eating is it's amazing. It's so good. And it's 160 calories for the margarita. Yes. For one, right? Yes, for, for one. one. And 170 for the pepperoni. Andrea, tell us your background. How did you come up with this magic? So I'm born and raised in Venice, Italy, and uh, I work in the kitchen as a chef since I was 16. And uh, I moved to London to learn English uh, when I was uh, 19 years old. And uh, in London, I work for one of the fine Italian restaurants that is owned by one of the largest private members club in, uh, in the world. Soho? Soho House, yeah. And they gave me the opportunity to move to New York in 2006 to open one of their members club. And I spent 10 years doing that until I met Michelle. How did you meet Michelle? So we, we met through a mutual friend and it was really funny because he asked me out on a pizza date. <laughs> and I said, pizza date? No man has ever asked me out for a pizza. But the twist was he wanted to teach me how to make pizza. I'm sure he did. <laughs> I had to show off. Yeah, he had to show off. And we've been married for almost two years now and this is our first baby. Congratulations. You know, I was an event producer and then I worked with social media influencers. And how did you go from this incredible product you're making to actually launching the business? Walk us through that. Actually, there was one event that we did that it was for our best friends. That it was a, all a group of Italian people and everybody loved it. And you know, Italians are picky, so I was like, <laughs> they're afraid, but they all loved it. And she, with her, you know, background, she was like, we need to bring this to my events and see what the reaction is. And that's how we started. How do you sell it? Yeah, so, so right now we sell direct to consumer, but last year our three distribution channels were catering, Smorgasburg, which is New York City's most popular market. That gave us the street cred, you know, to really have that proof of concept. And then we also did Stadium. So our first partnership was with City Field, home of the New York Mets, and they actually approached us. Did you get a commercial kitchen involved? Yes, we produce in a commercial kitchen, and we also have a co-packer who we've been working with for the last nine months. Lori, you might be familiar with our co-packer. Um, we, we definitely sought them out because their biggest client is Bantam Bagel. Yes. What, what will sales be this year? 
So this year we're projecting $800,000 in sales. Wow, Ooh, good for very you. nice. We did $344,000 in revenue last year. Year to date, we've done $77,000, but we have a plan and we know how to execute our plan. So prior to COVID, we were really a restaurant business. And so because of uh, the seasonality of our business, we knew that we had to launch e-commerce. Direct to customer frozen product. Correct, yes, direct to it's customer. We, we knew that was in the roadmap because currently we're New York City based. Our customers are from all around the country and they wanted to know where they could find us. I learned something with Wicked Good Cupcakes. Yes. <laughs> the first royalty deal in Shark Tank history just paid its millionth dollar wow. to me in royalties. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> but the shipping journey mm -hmm. we took in the cost of the weight of cupcake jars made of glass, we learned we had to sell six, not three. Then we went to a dozen. Our goal right now is to find a different fulfillment center who can service one in the Midwest, one in the Northeast, right. and one in the South. But what do you charge, Michelle? What is this 12 so come a, a in 12 this? 12 pack yeah. is $24.99. And how much is shipping? $9.99. So, so $35 to, to get 12 pieces. Correct. It's three and bucks a cupcake. What does it cost you to make these? One cupcake is 95 cents at the moment. That's and expensive, yeah, wow. that's expensive. It is expensive because we're making it by hand in our commercial kitchens. The recipe that we have uh, allow us to go to 48 cents per cupcake. And that's why we're here for your investment, so we can start production with our co-packer. You're starting up, you haven't even figured out yet, you know, how it's all gonna come together in terms of shipping a frozen product. I think you're gonna have some significant challenges. There's no question about it. Good luck to you. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Here's where I'm at, guys. Um, I'm not even gonna get into the valuation because you, you could be optimistic. Really, I just think that, I don't know if I'd be the greatest partner. As soon as I saw this, I was like, this is Bantam Bagels in another category. I know other people up here who have stadiums and a bunch of buddies with stadiums, so. Yeah, with no one showing up right now. Oh, but they will, <laughs> sooner or later, right? Eventually, yes. yes. So uh, I really wish you all the best, but in the best interest of being a, a good shark for you, um, I'm not the best partner up here, I'm out. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, Damon. Look, I'm really torn. I think you're gonna get a better offer than I probably would have made you, but man, you guys are the real deal. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. First off, um, I think it's amazingly delicious. I mean, listen, you're from Venice and you're from New York. <laughs> you guys know what you're doing when it comes to pizza. Um, I'm gonna make you an offer because I think there's really great synergy mm -hmm. with my Bantam Bagels yes. company. So Bantam Bagels, as you know, uh, started with a stuffed bagel ball and we got into Starbucks nationwide and then we got into all the major grocery stores, freezer sections. So that might be fun for them to also be involved. Come on, Laura, you're so making me So I'm hungry. gonna make you an offer. I'm gonna offer you 125,000, but for 20%. Oh, 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 mamma mia! Three sharks are out. Michelle and Andrea have an offer on the table from Lori for their business, the pizza cupcake but she wants a bigger slice of the pie than the 5% they came in offering. I'm gonna offer you 125,000, but for 20%. Oh, mamma mia! What we can bring to the table is worth it. I think that we can help you to skyrocket. Ouch, and it's I'll like be, a mob I'll offer. Be a, no, it's not at all, it's a great offer. I could have gone higher, actually. I mean, you have an offer. That's pretty yes, interesting. Yes, yeah, no, it's amazing. Well, you can so follow offer. in our footsteps of every single distribution channel that we have. Mark? Yeah, guys, I mean, look, if you want to stay frozen, working with Bantam is the way to go. Here's the thing, right? Selling frozen is hard, as Lori will tell you, as we've all done. Getting to space is really hard. Getting it to deliver at a reasonable price is really hard. And so for those reasons, I'm out. But congratulations, guys. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you well, so much. You're left with Lori. And yes, no, Lori, 20% is too high for us. I feel like we've already um, gone through a lot of challenges. We found the co-packer, which I think is the most difficult part. Would you be willing to do 125,000 for 10%? We, we work really hard. You really wouldn't have to do a lot of heavy lifting. We have investors on board who are also really strategic. We've been in conversations with one of the largest distributors right now who wants us to participate in their incubator program to get us into retail. 
I know the time and effort and all of that that we will put in. I know you're going to do the heavy lifting, but I know that I will also be opening so many doors for you. If I can get you into Starbucks nationwide, yeah. that's 9,000 locations. And then getting into Kroger, Albertsons, it will be so worth it to you. I will not go to 10%. Um, my bottom line, my bottom line would be 15. Would you do 125,000 for 12 and a half percent, Lori, please? <laughs> you know what, I love you, but listen, you will love me 15%. I got it, you want me to be invested in you and Would you, you want me to work Would you be willing to hard. go up to $150,000 for 15%? 125, 15%, and I promise you, you will not regret it. So Bantam Bagel, you invested at a $1.1 million valuation when they were on the show, and we have Ooh. higher revenue than them. And we've also have figured out our co-packer situation. We also have, you know, we're, we're Boom. shipping direct you to- you go, Michelle. Direct to I consumer. I think our marketing and is we, much stronger. It's we, okay to stick to your guns. You know what, you guys, I completely, I completely understand it, but here's something you don't know. You said you were learning the road, right? What I know is, is that there's so much more for you to learn. And the thing that is invaluable, is learning experience. I had no mentor. I had to figure out everything for myself. But I do know that somebody could come and sit with me for just one day, and I could save them two years worth of time of mistakes. Guys, you sound like also your students of Shark Tank. You know your numbers, I got that. But you also know something else about Shark Tank. You, when you only have one offer, yes. you're skating on really thin yes. ice. Yes, And now we you know. have to make a decision. No, I know. Um, can I make one more counter offer? You can oh. do whatever you like. <laughs> Would you be willing to do $125,000 for 12.5% and then 25 in advisory shares? Lori, what do you say? You gotta do it. Yes! Yay! Yes. Congratulations, right. guys. Shark hug. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Much. Thank you so much. Make sure my pizza is at my oh. house by this weekend. <laughs> Arriva Derchi pizza, guy. <laughs> We're living that American dream where we have our family business, we have our dream shark on our team, and we can just really start scaling and, you know, having pizza cupcakes as a household brand. Wait, you're not subscribed to the Shark Tank YouTube channel? Well then, for that reason, I'm out.